Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't film an intro for this video per usual, so we're just going to go ahead and start with the look. I just decided to do a get ready with me, so it's pretty messy, pretty um, unorganized, but it's just something simple for you guys to watch since I haven't gotten a video up in like years. So I'm actually using a brush in this video. I really, really like the finish that it gives me. Um, and it's super, super, super soft. And for those of you who know me, you know I have really intense dark circles, so I'm using this eyeshadow to color correct under my eyeballs. And I didn't realize how intense this concealer was, but it is no yolk. It's super thick and really, really, really creamy, so I like to blend it out with my finger first, and then with this baby, baby sponge. And then on top of that, I add the NYX concealer. Um, this is just in the color yellow, and it doesn't have much coverage, but it does add a lot of brightness. So I like to add that to the center of my face instead of concealer, um, because I feel like it it's less cakey. Even though most of the time my concealer isn't cakey, it's a lot more lightweight than using my usual Glamouflage concealer. And I'm going to set the areas of my face that I used the concealers with. And in all honesty, this powder is awful. It smells really strange, and I especially hate when it floats in the air and it's all over the place because I feel like I'm eating my grandma. And this is the first time I've tried this NYC powder. Um... I'm not 100% sold on it, but it was really inexpensive, and it definitely did the job. So I will give it a thumbs up for that. And hopefully I'll get to wear it a little more so I can give you guys a more in-depth review and tell you how I actually feel about it. Now these two products are like literally my holy grail, just their life. And I use them basically every day I do that my every day that I do my brows. Um, the pomade lasts all day, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't anything. I really don't ever have to worry about my brows. And this brush just makes doing my brows like a cakewalk. It is so easy. And I like that the bristles on the brush are pretty stiff and the actual um, brush itself is super thin so I can get a really precise application. And that sculpted brow. I like to underline my brows first and then I kind of line up the top part and then I go in and fill in any areas on the outer half that don't have any hair and then I like to build the arch. I don't know if you can tell in this clip, but I don't like to really add any product in the front. I like to use my spoolie to distribute it to the front and to blend um, any product. I like to use a bronzer before I contour because I find using the bronzer makes it... I guess look more natural per se and I feel like it makes it easier to blend in my contour. I actually really like this contour palette. I got it not too long ago and it is super easy to use. It's really blendable and the colors, I absolutely love the colors because they are cool tone actual contour shades. So I'm just using that on my cheeks and my ginormous forehead. And then I'm going in with the darkest shade and a little bit smaller of a brush to really hollow out my cheekbone. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the powder um, from the NYX contour palette to brighten up 
my face a smidge more. And then again using the same palette to contour my honker of a nose. And I really like to take my time blending when I am blending out my nose contour because obviously your nose sticks out from your face and I feel like if you don't blend it properly you can definitely tell and that could possibly be the first thing somebody notices about you is your unblended nose contour. I absolutely love this brush and the blush itself. They're amazing. And of course blend everything together. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to start off with and just run that color all across my lid and for whatever reason now I decided was the time to carve out my brows. I don't normally do it after I put in my first transition shade but apparently that's what I felt like doing today. I really like the way carved brows look. It gives a lifted appearance and it gives me the opportunity to clean up any mistakes I made earlier. I'm going in with a little bit of a deeper shade in the same color family just to add some more dimension to the lid. And um, I really like layering shadows just because I feel like it makes blending easier and it completes the look. And then I'm adding this darker shade um, just on the outer V of my eye, just again to add a little bit more dimension. And then I'm taking an even darker shade and I'm doing the exact same thing, focusing it more on the outer corner and I'm not blending it as high up into the crease. I'm going to be sure to blend, blend, blend everything. And then I'm taking the same brush that I used on the outer V's of my eye, and I'm just running it underneath uh, my eye on the lower lash line. Now I'm using a flat brush to pack on a little bit of a banana color, and then I'm using the white shade to highlight my into tear ducts, the little duckies of my eye. Next I'm going in with the Wet n Wild highlighter. I really love this highlighter, I think it gives off gives off a beautiful pink glow but this thing is my fave obviously I'm dancing about it it is so good so pigmented so cheap it's just yes. I'm gonna add a little bit to the nose and the cupid's bow and then set the face And pop on some mascara on the lower and upper lashes. I'm going to add falsies on today. But I really do like this mascara for when I'm wearing just my actual lashes. For my lashes today, I'm using the Ardell Wispies because they're amazing. They're lightweight. They're natural looking. Um, they're easy to wear. Easy to apply. They're just great. Um, and they're perfect for anybody who's just starting out wearing lashes or maybe you want to experiment or they're just a great everyday lash. And I don't know why I use this lip liner. It doesn't match anything that I was doing, but oh well, it worked out in the end. But I really do like the Rimmel lip liners. I think they're great and they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're maybe three or four bucks. Next, I'm going in with these bad boys. These are super awesome. They're really hard to find though, and I think they're really hard to find because everybody loves them. Um, I think this has to be my favorite shade. 
Um, they smell like cupcakes, and they're long wearing, and they're inexpensive, and they're just they're just amaze balls. So I recommend them to everyone. And I forgot to film an outro, so take a last look at the makeup look for today. And I will apologize again for having a super unorganized video, but thanks for watching, and I hope you come back for my next video. Thanks and bye!